crypto. That was back in early March. And since it is Second Date Update Update Week, we're checking in. Ladies and gentlemen, Evangeline, welcome back to the Jeff and Jen Morning Show. How you doing? Yeah, hey, guys. I'm good. Thank you. Hey, good, good to hear from you. I really didn't think I'd be talking to you again, but I'm glad that I am. <laughs> well, we are, too. So uh, is Ted not on the call, guys? He had to go into work. I'm sorry. He did want to be here, though. Well, what's going on? And are you two speaking? What's happening there? So back in April, um, I joined a planning group for a Pride event, and I go to the first meeting, and the ex-wife, you know, my ex-girlfriend, she was there. She had also volunteered to be on the committee, and when she saw me, she immediately smiled and walked up to me. Of course, she was apologizing for everything, and we had a really nice conversation, and I guess now she's totally out with everything, and... She's in a relationship now with a really nice woman who was also there at the meeting. Mm. And apparently, after Ted and I went on our second date update, Ted confronted her about everything that I revealed to him. And that's when she came clean with him, finally. And she couldn't believe that he and I had gone out. She said she felt really bad that she was the reason that Ted and I weren't really seeing each other anymore. And um, Because how long did you date her? Uh, well, we did it for maybe like a month or so. So not that long. No, not that long. But, you know, it's because when I, when I saw the picture of the kid, I was like, oh, crap, you know. I know this person. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, she said that Ted had told her how much he liked me and how bummed he was about how everything turned out. And then she begged me to go back out with him. She said he's been dating online and stuff, but hasn't met anybody. And she said that she'd just really love it if he found somebody. And she said that she'd be cool with that somebody being me. And um, and it was kind of strange, you know, because it, you know, it truly was comfortable with Ted. And it had been years since she and I dated, so I guess the whole, you know, with time thing was okay. But it was nice to see her, and I'm glad she's happy, and honestly... I've been thinking about Ted. I've been thinking about him a lot. So I, I think running into her must have been some kind of divine intervention, you know? Yeah. So that's how I was uh, choosing to see it when the meeting was over. And I called Ted. I oh, said, hey, I just ran into your ex-wife and she she brought me up to speed and now she wants me to date you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he, he, he was surprised to hear from me for sure. And really surprised when I told him what had just happened, you know? So um, we talked for a while, and then the next night we met for drinks, then dinner, then his place, and we've been together every day since. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So lots to unpack here, but they're in a good place now, those two. Obviously, right. him and his ex-wife. Yeah, because yes. you did yes. say there was a confrontation there, no? Well, yeah, because, you know, originally he didn't know that she was gay. He, yeah. he didn't know that. I remember that. But oh, uh, I, I guess really it, she came out, you know, and yeah. they're good now. Wow. Well, because, yeah, I mean, what are you going to do? This is a situation where it wasn't him, right? You know, the reason that they broke up, she likes women. So how can he be mad at her forever and ever? True, <laughs> but a lot of people would have been. Right. So the fact that they had the confrontation and it ended with them still on speaking terms and seemingly both wanting the best for each other Mm. is very evolved. (laughs) (laughs) Well, there's a kid involved too. Yeah. You know, you do want to get along for the sake of the children. That's cool. And so what are things like now? I mean, how often do you run into the ex-wife? How much contact do you have with her? What's the re- what's it like when you and Ted are together and you're with her? What does that vibe feel like? I mean, it's it's actually it's, it sounds wild, but it's good. I mean, seriously, it's all good. And Ted and I are in the process <laughs> of moving in together. And oh, wow. Uh, we found a house just two doors down from Beth and Ellen. And, oh, um, shut the door. You, you live close to each other. <laughs> yeah, I can't take and, it. Uh, we just, we just got to get our house on the market. But it's going to be great for their son. And, and we're going to be close. So it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to make things easy. It's going to be good. So we're all good. 
This is a TV sitcom in the making, right? It here. sounds like it. Yeah. Who owns the rights to this story? Are you going to write a book, and wh- who can buy it? I want to option this. <laughs> That is a lot that's happened in three months. I like it, though. Congratulations. I do, too. I do. And how is the son, like, dealing with all of this? Is he, this is probably the best possible situation as far as helping him adjust is everybody is getting along and being nice and, you know, modeling positive behaviors for him, right? Exactly. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to check back in with you in another three months and see where you're at. You're going to be pregnant. They're going to have adopted another baby. (laughs) From a third world country. Yes, that's how my sitcom is working out. (laughs) Join us for season two. And and how is Ted? He's good. He's happy. And we're happy together. So no complaints. All right. Well, it was great to talk to you. Thanks for checking in with us. Give our best to Ted. Will do. Stay in touch, of course. I Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> and thanks for coming back on Second Date Update. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you, guys. All right. Second Date Update, Update Week. How fun is that? If you missed any part of that call and want to hear it, we will play it again starting around 7.55. And if you need our help with the Second Date Update, just send us an email, Jeff and Jen at WKRQ.com. All right. This is my... Favorite contest that we do every morning. 750 Jeff and Jen, Cincinnati's Q102. Kyle, welcome to Jeff and Jen's Wheel <laughs> of, of Me. How are you doing, man? I'm all right. How are you guys? Doing, doing great. Have right. you ever, do you have any experience with Wheels of Meat? <laughs> no, it might be my first time. Okay, all so right. you're a novice. That's cool. So we got an email about you. We sure did. Who's it from? Uh, this is from Kyle's wife. Uh, let's see. This came. Do you have from a wife? Christina. Uh, yes. Are you Christy? Christy, okay. <laughs> That's right. Good. Uh, she said, my husband Kyle is the most amazing father to our two kids. He's always been there for them and has stepped up this past year to being both dad and daycare. He's really good about getting them outside, taking them to the park or hiking Walks around our neighborhood and teaching our daughter to ride a two-wheeler bike this year. Nice. Whoa, how's that going? Uh, it went um, pretty well. I mean, she kind of learned about two, three days, and now she's just riding without training wheels. Wow, look at that. Right cool. on. Well, look how good you are. Uh, she goes on to say, Kyle loves to smoke different meats and try new recipes. He uses some smoked sea salt and mm. a few other seasonings to prepare the meat, and it always turns out amazing. Even our picky daughter loves his steak. How about that? Uh, Kyle's favorite cut of meat is the filet mignon. Oh, good. Uh, nice. He loves to cook <laughs> for his family, including parents and sisters' family. The bigger the gathering, the happier he is. Look at that. Now, we had, <laughs> a, right. we had a story yesterday that um, for Father's Day that dads want everyone else to just leave him alone at the grill. Don't try to help him at the grill. He knows what he's doing. That's where he wants to be. Don't mess with it. Are you territorial about your grill, Kyle? I can be. I, I, I will admit that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't mind help here and there, but, yeah, it's kind of my domain. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay, All right. fair yeah. enough. Back off. And are you excited about Father's Day this year? How will you be spending Father's Day this year? Uh, this year we'll be spending Father's Day reflecting, um, I lost my father here just a few weeks ago, actually. Mm. So it's going to be a little difficult one, but I definitely got the family with me to get me through that. And as I said, my wife said in the letter, you know, we got the, the kids and all that, and they're, they're young, and, you know, they're at that age now where it's just, you know, such a pleasure to be with them all the time. So it's going to be a good day. That's awesome. Mm. Well, we're very sorry for your loss, yeah. and we know this Father's Day will be extra special to you this year as you reflect on your relationship with your own father. And, uh, you know, Chris, Christy wanted to do something nice for you, and we do too. Uh, we're going to give you an opportunity here to spin our wheel of meat. <laughs> all right. And when the wheel stops, the meat drops, and we'll find out what you've won. Yeah, I mean, it could be the belly, could be the loin, uh, the shoulder, uh, the ham, the sirloin. Ooh, I right. like a good there's ham. A lot of, there's a lot of kinds of meat out there, Kyle. So let's, <laughs> let's give it a spin and see where it lands. All right. You hear those cuts of meat slapping? I do. Yep. All right. <laughs> oh. 
Spare ribs. Spare Yay. ribs. Yay. Wow. Nice. I have not done any ribs this season yet, so that sounds good to me. Oh, All right. you haven't done that this season yet. Perfect. Well, what kind of side dishes do you like with your spare ribs? Oh, good question. Hmm. See, I got one of those uh, pellet-driven uh, trigger smokers, so I kind of put oh. my side dishes on the smoker, too. They're like baked beans and... Fancy. Um, that does sound fancy. It's all that good stuff. Are yeah. you responsible for the side dishes and the meat as well, or do you and Christy split the responsibilities? Oh, we'll split it when it comes to that, or yeah. if you have people over, they'll bring a, a dish with them. Well, you gotcha. know, you need a food Ooh. runner and an expediter. and That's right. Yeah, absolutely. The There's a lot going on there, Kyle. All right. Well, listen, yeah. we're setting you up with a $250 Kroger gift card that you can spend on spare ribs or any other cut of meat. Also, if you're in the market for a new grill, Kroger's got you covered there. From gas to charcoal, find an assortment of grills and grill accessories at your local Kroger store. Kyle, happy Father's Day, brother. Happy Father's Day. Thank you very Day. much. All right. Hold on real quick. Okay, Kyle? Will do. Thank All right, you. buddy. Take it easy. Thanks for listening to the Q102 Jeff and Jen Morning Show Podcast, brought to you by CVG Airport. Fly healthy through CVG. For more information, go to CVG Airport backslash fly healthy.